she was a beautiful young girl. But for 25 years, her mother kept her chained to her bed, locked in a dark room with no sunlight. When the authorities found her, this is what she looked like. How can a mother do this to her own child? The unbelievable story of Blanche Meunier. Blanche Meunier was born in Poitiers, France in 1849, the second child of Charles and Louise Meunier. She had an older brother, Marcel Meunier, who was one year older than her. The Meunier family of four was a noble family known, respected and loved by French society for its conservative structure. Although the little girl of the family had a beautiful childhood in this happy family picture, things would turn upside down over time. In time, the father Charles Meunier died. By the time Blanche Meunier was in her 20s, she was the most beautiful girl in the world, and her beauty attracted the attention of many single men living in Paris. So much so, that her beauty became the talk of the town all over France. She made herself known in every environment she entered and fascinated people with her beauty. Moreover, since she came from a well-known noble family, her suitors were usually rich and aristocratic Frenchmen from the upper class of France. It was time for Blanche Meunier, a noble young girl, to get married, and she was expected to marry a nobleman like herself. Love letters poured into the Meunier family mansion from all over the country to marry their daughter, but Blanche's heart was not in any of these letters. Despite all the pressure from her mother, Blanche Meunier refused all offers until she was 25 years old. And finally, she opened up to her mother and told her that she loved a lawyer who was not a nobleman. Of course, this answer drove her mother Louise Meunier crazy. This lawyer, who was not very successful at his job, was also older than Blanche. Blanche's mother Louise got angry and said that her daughter could not marry a lawyer with no money. With so many French noblemen wanting her daughter, she tried to dissuade her from this love, but Blanche Meunier would not give up her love. As time passed, mother and daughter grew apart. While Blanche Meunier was 27 years old and her peers were married and had children of their own, she was still turning down offers and meeting secretly with her lawyer lover. But when her mother found out about these secret meetings, things started to get out of hand. Her mother, Louise Meunier, thought that her daughter might get pregnant by this lawyer and bring shame to the family name. Her mother made an interesting decision to prevent the couple from meeting, locking her daughter, Blanche Meunier, in a room on the roof of their house. And not content with that, she chained her daughter to the bed. Then, to avoid arousing suspicion, she went to the police office in the town of Poitiers and reported her daughter missing. After this, the family pretended that Blanche had suddenly disappeared, and the mother Louise and Blanche's brother Marcel went about their daily lives. The police searched everywhere for Blanche Meunier, but of course to no avail. After a long search, her mother Louise Meunier and her brother Marcel Meunier, dressed in black, wept and mourned for a long time as if Blanche Meunier was dead. Poor Blanche Meunier was locked in the attic, living a life of complete imprisonment. Her mother had boarded up all the windows in the room so that her daughter could not shout out the window for help. Not even daylight entered the room she was locked in. Since their mansion was outside the city, there were no other houses or people in the neighborhood. That is why no one heard Blanche Meunier's cries for help. She was tied to a chain long enough to get out of bed and walk a few feet away, where she defecated, ate, and slept. Her mother left her a meal every day and went to her room every few days to clean up the feces. Days passed in this way, followed by months. Months followed by years. The missing Blanche Meunier was presumed dead and eventually forgotten by everyone. Her mother, Louise Meunier, despite the decades that had passed, never once took pity on her daughter and unchained her, never even allowed her to take a bath or go to the toilet. 
She let her live without food, water, and filth and inhumanity. For exactly 25 years and two months, until she was 52 years old, Blanche Meunier never saw sunlight or spoke to a single person outside her family. She lived chained in this room without fresh air. This continued until the local police received a mysterious tip-off. On May 23, 1901, an anonymous letter was left at the Poitiers prosecutor's office. The letter began as follows. Mr. Attorney General, I would like to inform you of an exceptionally serious case. I would like to tell you about a girl who has been locked in Madame Meunier's house, who is hungry, thirsty, and has been living in a dump for the last 25 years. Although the denunciation was anonymous, it is believed that the sender of the letter was a servant of the Meunier's mansion who could no longer bear the situation. Even though the Meunier's were a highly respected family, the prosecutor could not let such a blood-curdling allegation pass. The police went to the Meunier's mansion and searched all the rooms, but found nothing concrete. However, a foul odor coming from the attic attracted their attention, and when the door was opened, they discovered a beautiful woman who had disappeared 25 years earlier. This is how they found Blanche Meunier. The police officers who entered the room wrote the following in the crime scene report. The unfortunate, emaciated, dying woman was lying completely naked on a rotten bed. A kind of crust of feces, meat, vegetables, fish, and pieces of rotten bread had formed around her. Insects crawled on the bed. The air in the room was so bad and unbearable that we could not continue our investigation. Louise Meunier, the mother who had chained her daughter to the bed for 25 years, was arrested and jailed. But she died in prison 15 days later. Although it was recorded as a heart attack, rumors suggest that she took an overdose of drugs and ended her life. Her brother, Marcel Meunier, was sentenced to 15 months in prison for his participation in the crime, but was released on the grounds that he was mentally unstable so the criminals were never fully punished. When Blanche Meunier was found, she weighed around 25 kilograms and was barely able to stand on her own two feet. Moreover, she was diagnosed with many psychological disorders, such as anorexia nervosa, an eating disorder, schizophrenia, exhibitionism, and coprophilia, a disease of enjoying feces. Although she lived for another 12 years after the rescue, the deep scars left by the bad days never healed, and she was never able to return to her normal life. Although she recovered physically, she was never the same psychologically. After many years in nursing homes and psychiatric hospitals, she passed away in 1913.